What's going on, YouTube? My name is Peyton Nichols, or Vocal Moon, whatever you want to call me. Today, I have a very hard video to make. I have a top 15 YouTuber basketball list. Basketball YouTubers. Uh, this list was insanely hard to make, because there is a lot out there. Now, I'm not going to put myself in this list, because I want to get other 15, but I already know where I stand. I'm going to put me in top 5, even though I'm just starting YouTube, nobody really knows who I am. But they will, trust me. So, the list was really hard to make, actually. Um, There's a lot of good people, so if you didn't make this list, or if you're too high, if you're higher than you thought you should be, no disrespect, it's just my personal opinion. Uh, literally, don't take offense to it. It's just me rating how good I think you are at basketball or your skills and stuff like that. So, let's get started with the top 15. Coming in at number 15, we have So Luminati. Um, I have watched a lot of his videos before in the past. Uh, I haven't watched them recently, so I don't know if he's improved a lot. But he, he could improve. He's a little, uh, he's a little slow, I guess, with his dribbles and stuff like that. His shot's pretty good. But besides that, I'd say he's, he, he's top 15 for sure. Number 15, he barely made the cut for me. Number 14, this was a hard decision. I was thinking about putting him harder or higher, but I didn't. Jesser. Uh, this kid, if he could, if he like really took it seriously when he was young, in my opinion, and didn't focus too much on YouTube and focus more on basketball, I feel like this guy could have played college basketball. Like, I, I really think he could have. Um, he has a beautiful shot. His fundamentals are great. He's quick. He's athletic. He can dunk. That's where I put him at number 14. Number 13, we have DC Heat. Uh, I haven't watched a too lot of his videos, if I'm being honest with you guys, because I, I, I just haven't. Um, I've seen him play. He, he's not bad, but I, I only put him at 13 for me. I, got, I think there's 12 other players that might be better. Now, if I'm being honest with you, before we get to number 12, 12 is a little bit of a shocker to probably a lot of you guys, but these top 15, in my opinion, could be reordered in any way, really, depending on your personal opinion and stuff like that. But the top five, I feel like, could just stay the same. Coming at number 12, we have Brawadis. Now, I've seen this guy play basketball before. He loves basketball. He lives, he breathes basketball, even though he's a Suns fan, but that's fine. He, he has a good shot. He's pretty quick. Uh, his handles could use a little work, but besides that, I'd say he's pretty good. Give him top 12 for sure. Number 11. Haven't seen too much of him play before, so I'm not going to say a whole lot on him. It's uh, Trey Good. I've never watched a lot of his videos before, but off of people on my Twitter telling me what he should be ranked and everything, that's just what I put him at. So, benefit of the doubt, I've never watched him play before. Getting top 10. My number 10 on this list is Duke Dennis. Now, Duke Dennis, he is insanely quick, I think. He, he's a very good player. Uh, a little bit more fundamental work and stuff like that, but overall, he is a phenomenal shooter. Props to him. He's trained a lot. He's good. Coming in at number 9, we have Jay Jones. Um, I've seen this guy play a lot. He's very quick. He's very athletic. He's a pretty good shooter, but I think these next top 8 players really kind of top him just a little bit in my opinion these could all be changed a lot it doesn't really matter um this is just my personal opinion number eight for me we have devin the lab this guy he is a phenomenal shooter he's very quick his footing is good he's got good handles there's not really much else to say about him besides he's overall he's a very good player in my opinion um he's a good shooter his shot's smooth i like it a lot his handles are pretty smooth. I like those as well. So that's why I put him at number 8 in my list. Number 7 is a man known for his dunking. Um, he's a pretty good shooter. Uh, a lot of people say he's just a dunker. But I think, really, he's an overall very good basketball player. He's not just a dunker, in my opinion. Uh, I think he's a lot better than that. Coming in at number 7, we have Chris Staples. Number six, I I didn't know where to rank him, 
because like I don't see him. I haven't watched so I have watched him do a lot of one v ones and stuff, but he's a little undersized. I think I'm not too sure on his size. So don't get mad at me for putting him at number six. Number six, we have the professor. I know he's quick. His handles are smooth. He breaks people's ankles all day. His shot's not the greatest, if I'm being honest. But overall, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Overall, I think he's a decent basketball player. Um, you could really put the top 10 in any order, even top 15 in any order. So that's just where I ranked him. Sorry if you guys think he's too low, too high. Coming at number five, we have another player, in my opinion, that's kind of like the professor. He's very quick. He's very athletic. I think his shot is maybe a little better. Coming at number five is Bone Collector. Coming in at number four is a player that I think is phenomenal. He reminds me a lot of myself, if I'm being honest with you. He reminds me a lot of myself, my quick handles, my athletic ability, my oh, I bet you out of this list I have the best three point shot. I'll say that right now. My three point shot is amazing. Coming in at number four, we have Tristan Jazz. T Jazz. His shot has gotten a lot better. His hops have gotten a lot better. He has amazing handles. He's quick off the dribble. He will fake you out, no doubt about it. He will break everybody's ankles in the gym at the time. I have a player who I think you could really put T-Jazz and Bone Collector in front of him, but I put him at number three because I haven't really watched a lot of his videos before, so I'm giving him also the benefit of the doubt. It's B-Dot. Uh, I know his shot is pretty good. It's all right, actually. It's not the best. Uh, his defense... Could use a little work, I think, from just a video or two I watched of him before I made this. I watched, I went through and watched a video or two of all these guys just to refresh my brain because there's only a few of them I watch consistently. So B dot at number three, but he could really be a little higher up than that. He could be like upper eight, maybe somewhere around there. So that's what I think. I can't really say too much about him because I don't really watch his videos too much. Coming in at number two is a player who's had college experience. He's 6'10". He's a part of two hype. For his size, he's an amazing player. He's got dribbles. He can dunk. His defense is pretty good. His height really makes it good. You guys probably already know who he, was, who he is. His name is LSK or Christopher London. His shot is just absolutely, his shot, his handles, everything for his size, I would say, is honestly pretty good. It's decent. Uh, what really made me put him at top two is college experience and his ability to make plays and his ability to dribble and shoot and do all he does at his height, which is pretty amazing if you ask me. Coming in at number one is a player that can dunk very well. He's got some height. I think he's 6'5". Six, six he's got insane handles. He's very quick, very athletic. He's got a good shot. He's an all-around, probably the best player on this list. Number one, coming in, AJ LaPrey. That is my top 15 list. That is where I rank them. If you guys disagree, tell me who you think should be replaced and what. I know a lot of these could be replaced. I'm just going off my personal opinion and who I've actually watched a lot. Uh, I didn't include, when I say basketball YouTubers, I don't mean just like, you know how like uh, Jimmy Butler has a YouTube. I think Kevin Durant might have one. Like I'm not talking about those because they play like professional basketball. Of course, they're going to be better than all these guys. But I'm talking about like players who do YouTube for a living that play basketball, that their YouTube revolves around basketball. Just like mine will hopefully do. So, that is my top 15 list. I didn't put myself on this list because it would be a little corny, I guess, of me. Because I put myself at top 5 for sure. That's just my opinion. So, any of you guys got a challenge for me, let me know. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!